everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, today's episode, I got uh, something interesting that we're going to attempt. So, uh, let's go to the command center real quick here. We're going to jump straight into a battle pretty much. So, we've got a... Um, so, this is against local governments. A two-skull base defense mission in the urban environment. I think this will probably be okay. So, we're going to go ahead and take this one today. Um, I'm hoping that everything works out just fine. We've got a few other missions here, like ambush convoys and stuff, that we could take. Uh, it's for Word of Blake, which I don't particularly like, but you don't really have much of a choice. Uh, we can do some of these here um, later on, maybe in another episode. We uh, like Depending on how well we do here, we can take these for milk runs or something. But we're going to go and do this one today, because I'm interested to see how we can if we can pull this off. So we should go... It's local government, though. Like, I mean, do we really want to go... Yeah, I mean, this is, this is going to cover our drop costs and give us some money for repairs, so we should be fine. Alright, let's just hope we don't get killed. We updated the Talos last battle, so I'm interested to see how those MMLs turn out. And hey, let's go for it. Alright, here we go. So I am very interested to see which base defense mission this is, because I know there's one where you start off where the base is like in the corner of the map, which is like the best one to be on. Because you're only defending like one quarter of the possible attack area. Uh, but I think this one is the one that's in the middle of the map. Okay. Standard turrets activated. Yeah, we're in the middle of the map board. Or are we? No. Wait, where's the base? Um, am I missing it here? Oh, it's on, yeah, this is the one that's in the corner. Perfect. I love this base defense mission because you're in the corner. You're only facing, like, there's only a 25% um, arc here um, that the enemies can come from. However, I have had enemies drop right here in the reinforcement phase. So you can't get caught too far out here. And it looks like there we can't be out here anyway because the enemies are right there. Now, our vehicles are coming from where? They normally come from over here. Are they not showing up on the map board yet? I guess not. They normally start like here. Uh, yeah, it looks like the enemy's like right on top of us. So we're gonna spawn in at the base. So how far forward can we get the Talos? I guess that's it. This is the, as far as we can go, I guess. We can't get up on there, eh? No. Oh, maybe we can get it up a little higher. No, let's go here. All right, that's, this is the Griffin Cephalus. And then my vehicles, I'll spawn just kind of behind the building here. They're fast enough to move out. Plus it offers them a little bit of protection if the enemy gets a shot at us right at the start. I gotta watch their armor through the whole thing because it's, while it's okay to take a few hits, it's not okay to take a lot of hits. So this would be local government, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Is this our guy? Where are they? They are back here. So the, they're VTOLs then. Well, it just means they'll get here quicker. You spot any enemies? They didn't spy any enemies, which means they must all be like right here. Um. Yes, Commander. Well, turn one is like a freebie turn. We don't have to do any fighting. So let's get the Cephalus up here. Moving we'll out. wait till it finishes its move before we move anybody else. Just don't spot anybody. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're not here. They're probably stealth. Let's get the Talos um, up a little higher, probably. Let's go in this angle. The Griffin, I'm going to bring down along this way. On my way. Uh, the vehicles we definitely want up a little higher. So let's get you up there. Now, do we want to go this way and get up on this building? I don't think so. Let's try and stay together so we can concentrate our fire if we have to. And do that and that. Splitting up in this game could be really, really bad for you if you're unless you're really prepared. Where are the enemy? 
Like, we couldn't deploy here, so I would have thought there would have been an official or an original starting lance somewhere. What is going on? I've had this happen once in the past where the enemy never got a starting lance. I'm going to walk or sprint up to there, I mean. I don't want to go too far away from the base, but I just want to make sure that got we're it. covering all our bases here. Let's get out here. You got speed so you can come back at any time. And I want to keep you guys there. Okay. Roger. here. Position confirmed. Yeah, I don't know. That's so bizarre. Oh, they're in the buildings. Uh, I hate these guys. That I've never seen. Shit, man. Or you know what? This could be a random spawn. I've heard that um, enemy enemies in buildings can be a random spawn if you're not in combat for any any turn. So if you if you're if you're not fighting. They could end up being in a building. Like enemies could end up showing up in a building. Why are you not going? Orders. Ah shit. Well, this could be bad. Cause I have no idea, like this is the last turn before the enemy really shows up. Shows up to the party, Richta. Okay, let's get you back here. On the move. Let's eliminate the ones closest to us, the biggest threat with these freaking Goss rifles. How much damage can we do on this building? Oh, well, we might be able to take it down. We hit it with everything. Apparently not. Apparently not. Um, you're not going to go into the, you're not going to drop the engineers off? What? No. You're seriously not going to drop, what, what is happening? What is happening? What is, <laughs> well I said I wanted it to be interesting, I just didn't want it to be this interesting. Alright, let's hammer this building. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, Doggy. scream as you die. This building's got like what, one hit point left or something? Y yeah, of course it's got one hit point left. Yeah. I waste a whole friggin' unit on destroying the damn thing. Uh, but who? I don't know. I don't know. Let's put you... Probably not the best place. Here, probably. Like that. Let's move. Let's get the Zoria on this. Wait, which? What was this one? Rifle platoon, SRM platoon. That's far enough away. We don't have to worry too much about the SRMs, but let's get on the Here rifles. I think the second Zoria should be able to finish this building off. So Orders. let's get. It's kind of a waste for this guy, but we're going to back him up. And I'm going to kill this. Kill this building with the SRMs. Lag. So my internal hard drive, I think, is slowly dying. It's an Watch SSD, that. but I've been getting issues with it. On you, and I know it could just be that it needs to be uh, optimized, but I have a feeling that it's slowly dying. I, I get no it's a little louder than it used to be. Um, so I'm probably going to buy a new one over Christmas as well, hopefully. I got bolt-on rockets too. Actually, this has only got... That should be enough, right? That's like 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, that's plenty. As long as we hit. Got it. And of course, we missed with... Large laser. Again. What did I say the last episode about, like, missing with big, big weapons? It's a big problem. 
building, please. Firing. There we go. Yeah, so hopefully, I mean, I, I might try optimizing my dri drive, but I'm probably just going to buy a bigger internal. Yeah. Waste of time. It's too far away. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Oh, they're, they're back there. And right on the base, because of course. Well, this just... Oh my god, they're right here too. Jagger mech? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what do they got? What do they got? Quick draw? <laughs> Hope we have good turrets. Oh, this is a bad idea. Hunchback. Quick draw. So I guess those two spawn in the base and these two spawn out. Jager mech and Centurion. SRM turret we're not worried about. Pirate Zephyr. Missile and energy. Star Slayer, hooray for that. That's a medium, I think. So that's pretty hot too. Warrior with a with a heavy rifle. And there should be one more back here. Here it is. Strix. Great. That's that friggin' melee Shadowhawk, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, okay, well, let's first things first. We gotta deal with the guys in the base. Uh, and they've also got spawn protection, I believe. Okay. At least the infantry turrets are done. This quick draw, quick sell, though. Large Rex lasers. That was a pretty friggin' a lot of damage, and this is a lot of armor. This guy's got to go down, like, as fast as we can get him down, and it's got to be all back strikes. We can't be dealing with this frontal armor. All right, Hunchback 1G, heavy, so it's an older version with no back armor. So that guy we could probably get with the vehicles. This is the guy we got to focus all our attention on with the mechs, I think. So, yeah, we're not going to get even a good chance to hit, though, before this guy moves. And he's going to go before the Talos, and the Talos is like prime spot for a back strike. I think we got to move as far as we can. And threaten this guy. But still remain like this. I think we got to shoot him. I, I, I can't, I don't think we can wait. I think we need to him, we need to have him second guess his, his back strike against the Talos. Uh, let's fire on this guy. Hopefully we can hit with at least one of the beacons or a tag. Okay, beacons on. Tags on. Beautiful. Or sorry, the tag, that's the tag hit and the beacon missed. This freaking guy here, though, the Jager mech. It's all AC2, so it's not too, too bad. And if we close with them... Plus, I don't think Jager mechs have all that much armor. Okay, good. Tag the Hunchback so he'll go after you. Oh, headshot. Beautiful. Yeah, the back armor is garbage on the uh, Jager mech. His armor in general is garbage. 480, that's it? <gasps> oh, okay. I think that's the one we want to get. I'm going to try and claim as many pieces of the Jager mech as we can. It'd be nice if we can get him to bail out. That would be a nice, uh, a nice mech for the first heavy. I think I saw, was it, uh, wasn't Baradul. Or maybe it was. I think it was Baradul playing with a, uh, yeah, here comes the back strike. Uh, no, really? Killed the Ares, though. Fuck. Oh, took a hard hit there. Yeah, how much I can do about that. Uh, but yeah, he was playing with a Jager mech with a pair of, um, I think it was Ultra 20s? I like watching the, uh, MechWarrior Online videos just for, um, uh, different ideas for loadouts, because, uh, They've got some... Oh, are the Strix is the, um... I thought there was a... 
The original Strix I thought was the uh, melee Shadowhawk. Maybe I it's hear ya. maybe it's still called maybe it is still a melee Shadowhawk, but uh, it's a different version. You need to get the hell out of over there and get back here. Um, how do we do that most effectively? Probably doing this way. Not being that far out, but like this if we can. Oh God. I think this is probably the safest. And I think we probably just shoot the, uh, just these, because I don't want to hit my own guy here. Put the sensors on him, maybe? Well, his firebombs are gone, so... It. Not what I wanted to do, but... We had to do that. I don't think the Talos can get behind this guy. Not without being in danger from these guys. Although, I think I'm up on our, I'm I am up. So we might be able to get behind him without having to worry too much about these guys. 3 uh, yeah, so there are like a lot of older vehicles here with a couple of modern ones. Nice. What are our turrets? And where are they? So point defense turret back here, which is going to help. Thumper turret. Let's not get too close to the enemy then. Uh, what else? Another one right here. Light shredder turret. Paravessor M6s. So it's going to be going after this guy, probably. And where is that last turret? One, two, three... I thought there was one out further. What am I missing here? Oh, it's right here. Hidden. Thunderbolt emplacement. Okay, well, it's indirect, so it's fine. I should probably take this building down. It might help that turret out. What do you need? Oh, man. I need you to survive. That's what I need. Um, we work on this hunchback and hope we can get him to bail out or get the hell out of here. That's garbage chance to hit. Now we take a shot against this guy, I guess. I, I guess, I don't know, I guess we're tearing through the front somehow. Can't afford these hits, man. Ooh, not much armor left in that location. That's all right. Getting the hell out of there. Getting the hell out of there. Let's stay a direct line of sight. Um, I got a feeling that charge is going to shoot the vehicles again. Yeah, we shoot this guy. I mean, I'd like to be able to not shoot this guy and go after the ones that I want to tear down, but I don't. I I can't be confident that he's going to target buildings if we stop shooting him. He's probably going to um, keep targeting vehicles and mechs and stuff until we pull him down. So we got to go after him. Yeah. I don't know about this. You know how fast this guy is? Don't really. I haven't done a lot of damage to him either. Um, one thing I do know though is I can't be here. I think we gotta do that this turn. I think we gotta do that and then we'll get down off this uh, mound next turn. I want to shoot the rockets now. Yeah, we might not get another chance. Oh shit. Really? Short range missiles are out. Okay, at least he's got like no 
Um, no stability. Okay, that guy's running. Oh, nice shot with the thumper. I felt that thing go right past my ear. At least they're shooting at the right target. Okay, who's up first? Okay, we, we go before the charger, so we're going to move in on this guy, because i got a feeling we can knock his ass down. We've almost got his torso, too. That's a shocking uh, bit of info. That's the copter. Panic level critical. Do both of their copters go first? Yeah, this guy goes on 20 as well. Maybe he'll go after the same guy. At least they, at least the uh, the enemy is seeing him as the major threat at the moment. So they, we, we might get a knockdown. At which point we'll capitalize on it. I don't think he's got an XL engine. Guy's too far away to worry about at the moment. He's got a pair of large lasers, so I gotta worry about that. I gotta get the Griffin back and like along this wall here. Just to keep these guys from shooting at him. Oh! He did have an XL. Discount Omni Mech Crit. Good night, sweet prince. That large Rex laser might be interesting to grab. I don't know where I would put it. But uh, actually, we might be able to put it on the Griffin. Want this Jager mech, though. At the moment, we're fighting for survival. This hunchback's got to go next. Yes, Commander. We're not moving very much here, Good but... Let's hope we can finish this guy off this turn. Give it everything I've got. Gonna get both my vehicles on him. Uh, the Talos and the Griffin, though, I don't know where I'm gonna post them up yet. I kind of want to see where the Jagermack and the Centurion go to next. But I, I know we're going to have to move before that. This is the uh, thing I'm worried about. Because we're not going to be able to hit it very well. At least these buildings are blocking our uh, base here. Here comes that Jagger. What can I do for you? I wish I could get past him. So we can get around and out of sight of those guys, but that, all they have to do is move over here and shoot me, so that's not going to work. Um, we can jump up behind the buildings here, which would probably be a smarter choice, and we can get a shot at that Jager mech. I think maybe we do that. Taking the high road. Let's get up here. This thing doesn't have much armor, so let's uh, give it to him then. Put the remote sensors on for this turn. Um, yeah, I'm leaving the small off. I want to save some heat. Let's fire. Time to die. Large missed again. All right, sensors, eh, terrible location. I was going to say it's kind of okay, but it's not really because he's not even standing on a sensor. Yeah, fucking Centurion. Ready for orders. gonna make it well it's actually not gonna make it harder for me to hit let's get into here <sighs> man I was so optimistic I mean I guess I should still be optimistic because it's we're not that bad off um, let's put the five on as well try and get this guy out of here damn 
Well, we still got two vehicles before those turrets go, so... Maybe that turret will, uh... Or maybe the, um... The Zorias will finish it off, and maybe he'll punch out. Don't die, damn it! Okay, he missed. I thought he hit. Looked like he hit. Yep. The lag I'm getting, like, I think it's partially because of my drive. I don't like this positioning. Because they can still see me, right? I mean, it's not ideal, but let's get, um, like this. Going full throttle. Turn our front armor more towards the enemy. Let's get on this guy. I'd like to, I w wanted to do a back strike, but I can't really, um, I can't really at this point. There we go. There we go. Good to go. Good to go. Let's get over here. Let's move. I'm gonna drop some missiles on this Jager mech, I think. It's not a bad strike position from here. Yeah, it's the, it's the Strix and that Star Slayer I'm starting to worry about. I mean, the Centurion's doing okay damage, but we can probably handle that Centurion. Hopefully the uh, Thumper fires at this guy too. That turret's not doing too bad of a job. Give him everything you got. And the Thumper didn't fire. Why did the thumper not fire? It's not jammed. Okay, it's a copter. I mean, I think we do have hunchback parts too, so... But it is, I think it's the old one, I think it's the same version, the 1G or whatever it is. I think we got like one or two of them. But, I think the Jager mech is probably still the best bet. It'd be nice to have some heavy long-range firepower, then I could up the engine on the Talos and make it faster. Drop the Ultra 5 off it and put something else in. Or maybe we leave the Ultra 5 in and pull out some of the missiles, I don't know. Yeah, you back it up, buddy. Back it up. I clear some of those buildings, do you? Yeah, you run. You run. Hitting this guy is going to be tough. Okay. Awaiting orders. Man, the speed on this thing. It really is ridiculous. Not the best chance to hit. It puts me in line with the turrets, though. Where's that SRM turret? Right here. He could technically get a back shot on me. Hmm. Maybe this is just a reserve. I think it probably is. We'll hold off and see what they do here. Hold off and see what they do. Hopefully that Centurion moves so we're in a position that I can actually go after him. We can down that Centurion and quickly down that Jager mech, then we only have to worry about one direction. Everybody's got to worry about one direction. I don't like that music. Is this created from the, uh, I think it is. I think that's like a crater from where the bombs went off. Is that added from one of the mods or is that part of the game? That's kind of cool. Oh, it's from the drop pod, I see. Right, the drop pod added that, that bit in. Okay, they're going after the copter. What if we could take that Zephyr out pretty quick? He's backing up. Okay. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh, I think he's still in line to the turret. I wish we could, like, click on a turret and see if he can actually see something. Just so I know if I can get within his line of sight or not. 
Because I'm still worried about going I over there. Ya. And we got a backstrike, but we got exposed to do it. Wait, how are we? See oh, we're on the ramp here. That's where it is. I was like, how are we seeing that guy if we're not if we're down the ramp? He can't see us. Uh, let's just go here and use our LRMs. Going turbo. I can't risk anything at this point. We already lost one vehicle, which was our best vehicle. I mean, they knew who the threat was. Tell me what to shoot. Waiting for orders. All right. Um. Ooh, that's actually not that bad. 39. Yeah, a little worse on this guy. Switch up to LRM ammo. Let's move up a little bit. I don't know if they'll shoot for me. They seem to be targeting the building, so, I mean... How much armor does this thing have? It's pretty chunky. The warrior's not that good. We've only got the one... No, we got these if we switch to LRMs. That's actually not that bad. I mean, the warrior's not doing a lot of damage, but... If we can pull it down... I mean, I don't think we will. But let's take a shot. Got one on. Couple hits. Alright, we might be... Oh, we might be able to take him down... This turn, actually, if we use one of the vehicles. What do you need? Like you. Move and face On this it. way. Let's get that warrior out of the play. Not what I wanted to be doing this turn, but I think it's the right move. I'm taking the shot. Nice. Okay, some guns off the field. Feeling pretty good about that. And stay down. Yeah, Strix, I think, has got to close a little bit more so before we go after him. Receiving. All right, taser face. Got a little bit more room to move here. So let's get into here. Interested to see here. We're going to use um, some vigilance here too. Just to hopefully make sure we get initiative next turn. That's pretty darn good on this guy. Not so good on this guy. We're going to take it on the Centurion, I think. His rockets are gone, so he's only, only got really a heavy rifle left. So let's hammer this guy. Ready for sure. Work. Okay, let's bring you down here. We're going to target that Jager mech again. Maybe we can claim the arm. He's not really panicking yet, but hopefully we can keep him under pressure. Couple hits. Alright, fair enough. Alright, at least the SRM turret didn't hit me. Don't fire the thumper at that guy. Why is the thumper not firing now? I don't understand why it's not firing. I mean, it's not hitting me, so that's a good thing. So I shouldn't really be complaining, but... It'd be nice if you took some shots at these guys back here. Maybe I can't see them. I don't know. But you'd think it would be shared sensors with our units. Since we're seeing what they're seeing. You know? The copter opens up the battlefield for us to see it, so you'd think that the turrets would be able to see them. Like, I'd be raining hell down on this guy, or, or this vehicle at the moment. Or even this guy. Yes, close with us. Be nice if we could take this guy down. Grab some parts from that. What were you shooting at? Oh, the nightshade. Okay. I get you. What's the Centurion doing? Star Slayer. Yeah, you just keep shooting that guy. Reporting. All right, nice. That's going to put us in too much of a threat. But I think we stay on the Centurion. 
like this. Jagermech can't move too far, so if he wants to come and try and get me, that's fair fair enough, but his ultras or his AC2s will be too close to him for him to really do anything. Firing everything. Everything hit. Nice. So we got him going on. We got a 15, a 16. Then he'll probably go before we'll go. So maybe he'll move in. We can bring the Zoria around to take a shot at him, maybe? I don't know. I still want this Jager mech, but I don't know how we're going to do it if he doesn't move up. I only really want the Jager mech because it's like... It's got no armor, it's easy to pull down. It's slow. Waiting on you, Commander. So, I'm going to use oh this is an interesting question yeah I see garbage chances to hit there and garbage there so it doesn't really matter who I shoot at uh, let's move into here want to stay hidden from everything else over there man I really like the dynamic with the vehicles and stuff like it makes the flyers much more of a threat because they can see over everything but then, I mean, of course, you can see them, but still, it's like... Ooh, finally! The large laser hit when it counted. Of course, all the missiles missed. <laughs> it's either one or the other, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's nice that they can see over. Now, they can be targeted by everything, too, but because they're evasion, like, they can jack up pretty good evasion by moving good distance. They're um, pretty safe, generally. Just if they get hit, they're uh, not so safe. Okay, let's move up to here. Not That's sure what that Zephyr's about, about what he's going to do, so we're going to keep our targeting on the guy that we can see up here. And I'll fire it all. Hopefully we hit with one of the Ultras. Attacking from position. Nope. Did we get... Oh, we got the building. See, that shouldn't happen either. But I know, I know they can't do much about it. He shouldn't drop when the building drops, but... Whatever. I don't care. There's flyers in the game. <laughs> It doesn't bother me at all. Yep. Alright, you... Um, I think that Centurion is hidden from the... Uh, SRM turret. So let's get up over Got there. It. No shooting, just running. Apply some damage liberally to this guy. Acquire damage, apply liberally. See ya! Mech destroyed. Orders? First you were a V-gone, and now you will be gone. Move into position. V-gone? Man, it's got Pilgrim. I keep saying it. I know I've said it multiple times. <laughs> but that film is just so good. Firing. It's probably the most quoted film in my household. My wife and I quote it all the time. Even my kids will quote it. All right. Waiting orders. Let's get busy. Ten four. This guy's all yours, I think. I think he's all yours. So let's get the narc and ooh, that's good chances to hit. So maybe we do go after the leg right away. Mm, let's just shoot him. Okay, we got the tag on. So that'll help next turn. He's really only got a pair of medium lasers he can deal deal damage with me. Uh, he might hit with the ACs, very low chance, but... I think if we just apply enough pressure to this guy, he might bail out. I mean, being local government, being in a mech that's slowly falling apart, hopefully he'll just bail. But, I don't know, we'll see. So we got three rounds left, including this one. So, I mean, we've got to choose our targets wisely here. So the Strix is probably one. The Nightshade, I think we... I mean, it's going to be the last result if we get lucky and kill it great. If not, it doesn't die. And we 
So I think we'll get the Jager mech, we'll get the Strix, and we might get the Zephyr. We might. So not bad for two skull. I mean, the Ares went down early. If it hadn't, I mean, we'd be applying a fair amount of damage. This guy turned his side. Ah, shit. Okay, you need to get the hell out of there. Fabulous. Fabulous. Ah, shit. Does that mean everything's jammed? Everything's friggin' jammed, pretty much? Oh, sorry. Not jammed. Out of ammo. Never mind. Okay. This guy doesn't have a lot of armor. How are you doing here? Yeah, we might be able to take him down. We got a lot of guys left to go. Although, yeah, this Zoria can get over there and fire. He's handling him. The Griffin can fire. Yeah, we'll probably pull it down as long as we hit. But I'm interested to see where our turrets fire, though. The Thumper turret and the, the um, if it fires, and the uh, Thunderbolt turret. It probably fire at this guy, but we'll see. Good, you back up. Yeah, you're getting out of there. Systems holding. Just barely. What can I do for you? That's uh, not exposed to that guy, although we I guess we kind of have to. No, we don't. Beautiful. Let's not get shot at unless we have to. Um. Yeah, I just fire these. Ah, laser missed. Damn it. Oh, we still get him? Oh, the building dropped. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, you run. You run. <laughs> he fired like two turns yeah. and he spent the rest of his game game running away from everybody. Okay, let's get up to here. We still got all our armor yeah. on this guy, so that's good. Shooting at this guy. Good distance away, but I'm fine with that. Alright, couple there. Ah, a couple more there. So that's the right side. Wow. Took all of the armor off. We kinda gotta turn the left side, even though it's got no armor. On my way. Double time. We still gotta shoot. Go after this guy again. Still same chance to hit. Oh, looks like we penned. Not enough to kill though. Damn! Oh well. Maybe the turrets can finish it off. Hit, Commander. Yeah, yeah. Come on, land it. Looks like it's going to land. Yep. And didn't kill it. Reporting. Let's go here. Good to go. Scare this guy some more. Yo, buddy, I'm behind you. Bail out, please. Just fucking bail out. I don't want to core you. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I know I've said it in the past, and I'll say it again. The Rogue Tech crew, all the tweaks and the little... Uh, adjustments that they've made over the past little while, all the stuff that they've added to this. It's just, the game is so good now with this. Okay, Zephyr's moving in. They haven't even taken one building down yet. He's gonna get targeted this turn. I think if that... Yeah, I mean, if that... If the, uh... I hear ya! You know what I'm talking about, this guy here. <laughs> the quick draw, if it had gone after buildings early on with those big, uh, big lasers. How can he see me? Oh, he's up on top. Oh, I see. I don't like that idea. 
can't jump far enough. That's sketchy right there. That building doesn't count as partial defense, really? Really? So how much armor do you have? A good amount. Pirate medium lasers, but you are targeting buildings. I mean, we could go after the Star Slayer. Or... If we do this, and try and get this guy to punch by constantly shooting him. I mean, we're not going to kill the Star Slayer this turn. It's just this turn and next turn. He's got too much armor and he's already partially overheating. So, I mean, this is the guy we want. Uh -huh. So let's go after him. Stay on target for once. Oh, he's unsettled now. Sure, he's not unsettled when he takes two freaking pulse lasers in the back, but he's unsettled when he gets plinked by a couple of LRMs. Pew pew. Pew pew, motherfucker. Okay. Yep. You can go after the Zoria. Or do we... They don't really have the juice to pull the building down, though. But I think, or the, sorry, the Zephyr, I think we need to go after him anyway because he might pull a building down. Let's get him distracted. Receiving you. Yeah, see, the Griffin's tall, which means he can be seen by that guy, but the, the Talos is short, right? Which means that guy can't see him. It's cool how they've done that, how there's, the mechs have a, a specific height. That's pretty damn cool, I gotta say. All right, let's go to this guy. Ooh, both of the ultras hit. Good damage. Commander. Let's get behind the uh, building. Heading out. And let's plink this guy again. Engaging. I want this guy to bail. Salad connection. Okay, wait. Does he have a two and a five in each arm, or was it four twos? Oh, funny, you're shooting. Okay, a few hits with the SRMs. Nothing. I understand now why this guy's got no armor if he's got a 2 and a 5 in each arm. So this is the last turn, I guess. Yeah, I guess it is a 2 and a 5. I thought it was 4 twos, but... Um, I think we gotta be close. That's close range. Let's pull into there. Ten full. We're gonna get one piece no matter what, so let's go after this guy. Maybe not. Damn. Waiting on you, Commander. Keep shooting him. Roger that. Firing on target. Come on, bail out. Yeah, critical hit. Damn it. I don't think we're gonna get the Jagger mech. This is the last turn. Well, he goes on 20, eh? Okay, pretty good for a heavy mech. Keep moving forward so my Zoria can come around and take a shot, direct shot at you. Move over here, turn around and shoot this guy, and then my Zoria can come up here and shoot you in the back, maybe. Come on. You know that's what you want to do. Oh, it's the Zephyr. He's running. Trying to just just trying to survive the fight today. Interesting. I don't know if that's a minefield or if that's sensors. I guess we'll find out when that guy moves. Are you gonna melee? Ow! Breach. Internal damage. Yep. It was ins 
in Sindri. Um. Do we indirect fire this guy? Or do we go after this guy? We're not going to hit him. Alright, it's indirect fire. Um, switching to LRMs. Keep ourselves turned to the Star Slayer because he might try to jump over and shoot me here. I doubt it. Probably shoot the buildings, but we're going to go after this guy. I copy. Come on, bail out. Target's taken a critical hit. Damn it. What do you need? Don't move. Come on. Standing by. God darn it. He's gonna get away. Target He's gonna get wire. away. Oof, that was a nice hit. And you're gonna shoot that guy with those? No! Jagger mech gets away. Fine. Mission successful. Uh. Alright, well, at least we didn't lose any buildings, so we got, you know, increased payment and stuff. Yeah, I guess that was okay. Although it's gonna cost us a fair bit to get repairs. Like, I'm kinda glad he, that when he charged, he hit that. Our pilot's not dead. I have no idea if we lost the Ares, though. It was an engine crit, so I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. I don't know how it determines what vehicles get lost. Interesting. So yeah, we didn't really lose anything on this stuff. It's just the armor was stripped. Okay. Let's have a quick look here now. I'm interested to see... So there is... We, do, we could get a hunchback. It is an old hunchback, but we could get that. And then there's four parts of a quick sell, quick draw. The question is, how often are we going to see that? And we could go with the hunchback and have a mech now. Handheld light PPC. Who had these? Oh, these are probably from the infantry. Handheld MML7. 70 shots per firing mode. Firing with LRM ammo. Fire either LRM or SRM. So does that mean it's got 70 shots per for SRMs and 70 for LRMs? It's six tons. I mean, that's actually not a bad weapon. There's the large Rex laser. Recoil of two, though. More damage to armor, less damage to structure. But 45 damage more to armor is, is nice for stripping it for those uh, LBXs that we have coming up a little later on in the turn. Now, these would be nice as well. Bulky quick... <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Um, fire control system critical plus 100% crit chance. Too bad we can't put that in the vehicles. Um, quick cell heat sink. Not going to do it. That's not a bad choice. I wish I knew if I, if the Zoria is gone or not. Or the uh, Ares, I mean. Stealth armor. Supercharger. We could supercharge the uh, Talos. Half a ton of mag shot ammo. No real specialty ammo down here. Interesting. Bonus walk distance. Speedy leg actuators. That might be nice on like a like a lighter mech with a half decent like um, speed. So rather than running, you could be walking everywhere. Still getting good evasion, but um, not incurring the running penalty. Mag shot. It's not really worth it. I don't know, man. Maybe we go with the large Rex and then laser pistol does fifteen. These do thirty. What's the range in these? Four hundred thirty. Six and a half tons, though. I'd rather go with the MML, I think. Well, that firebomb, that was actually quite a nice little uh, one-shot early on. 20 area effect heat damage to units in radius. 10 area effect damage to units in radius. Uh, 
Now that's got six shots. Did he? I guess you can choose how many you shoot in one round because he was out in the next turn, so he probably fired all six of them early on. Strict stealth VTOLs got like nothing left here. So, do we go for the mech? I think we do. That way, if we lose the Ares, we've got something to replace it with. I don't want to. I don't really want to replace it with the the Wasp. I mean, this is an old mech, but we do have. I did kept it. Keep those things to help with that. I kept the. Um, standard engine and the standard fire control system which we could put in that I'm really tempted to take this but I don't know what could carry it we don't have anything at the moment that could carry this so it's almost a waste to grab it the Rex laser it's 40 heat 7 tons though I don't know where that would go we don't currently have a mech that can make use of it I'd rather grab stuff that I can make use of now. I mean, maybe the pirate fire control system. Um, there's another ECM, which we're not, I mean, yeah, I mean, our mechs kind of do have it right now, but we have one for the hunchback already. Feral QS might be okay, but I think maybe this, one accuracy, one evasion pips ignored, plus one recoil though, and plus 10% heat generator, so I don't know. It's always an iffy pro. I mean, if you're if you're running with a laser build, it's pretty good, but your weapons are still adding recoil. So if you've got a faster mech that you can dart in for a couple of turns, you know, ignoring evasion and um, getting better accuracy, firing for a couple of turns, then darting out and waiting to drop your recoil and coming back in again, that might be a better way to run with that. This isn't bad either, the sensors or the thing. Maybe we drop stealth armor or grab the stealth armor and put it on the uh, hunchback. Or this, I mean, the supercharger is also an option. Plus 5% engine weight, though. Plus 50% run multiplier when active. I mean, that could help the Talos out. But I think in the early. Increased weapon heat. So this hunchback has got two ballistic hard points. Oh, man, I don't know. It's like iffy if I grab. I mean, we could put the AC-10 in there. We could put the AC-10 in there. Huh. Now I'm thinking maybe we don't go with the hunchback and grab the quick sell parts from the quick draw. Although I, th from what I remember about the quick sell units, I don't think mech parts from another quick draw, other than a quick sell quick draw, will combine to put a quick sell mech together. I think they all have to be quick sell mech parts, from what I understand. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Two laser, five ballistic, eh? Heavy laser backstabber. Man, I don't know. Do we just grab this and say fuck it? Heat damage stability falls off to 10% of starting value. maximum range so it does really like only a little I mean, you, ha you have to be close to really get full effect out of these which means it would have to be in a um, pretty fast mech quick sell pharaoh <sighs> come on man should have get out the pot night vision Pirate fire control system. You know what? Let's just grab it. How much is it worth? So if we never end up using it, 550,000. Eh. Yeah, let's go this route. Alright, we got... Oh, the Ares died. Fuck. 
Well, I guess it's probably pretty good that I grabbed that hunchback then. We got three parts of the Ares back. Damn it. We got two of the quick, sell, um, quick draw parts, though. Mag shot, nice. Couple rockets we could probably utilize somewhere along the way. Oh, nice. We got these picked up, too. So that'll help. Bulky endosteel. Internal combustion engine I don't think we need. Uh, fire control system critical we'll hang on to. We can ditch the, that stuff. Standard heat sink cooling can go. We have one of these already, right? No, we don't. Okay, well, we do now. Heavy sab sabo ammo. Or sabo. Half ton of mag shot. Okay, well, I mean... I don't think it was a good trade, but whatever. Damn. Well... No, 22,000 for repairs. Yeah, well, not much we can do about it. That guy spawned right on top of us, so... <sighs> it's not like it's my mistake. Oh, I guess it's my mistake for taking the mission, but, you know, no big deal. Okay, so Mech Bay, let's have a quick look at what it's going to cost to get that uh, Hunchback up and running. So we got a full 1G. Let's get ready this. It'll be free to bring it up to, to the front, probably. Yep. That mech you wanted is back online. Um... Yeah, so it has medium and heavy rifles. Probably lost everything from this, but let's have a quick look. Well, the arms looks like it's intact. One arm, anyway. With nothing in it. Oh, we got a medium rifle still. So, engine's still in it. Okay. That's a, a good thing, I guess. So let's go ahead. Oh, was the, I kept an internal... <sighs> kept the internal combustion engine for some reason the last mission I thought I kept the uh, I thought I kept a um, standard fusion core I probably got it mixed up which is highly likely okay so we've got two support and two ballistic oh we got both the rifles okay um sure Let's just see what we can get in this thing. Get it up and running so we can get it in the field. wonder how much it's going to cost here. So let's get a standard SLDF thing in there. Basic cockpit. Do we have anything for sensors? We do not. Which is really sucky. Um, but that's fine. We're already getting... Uh, getting better here. Um... I want to get a Guardian ECM if we can get it in there, which we most certainly can. Although we got to drop the primitive armor. That's definitely got to go. So the bulky endosteel. Two and a half tons. This gives us 2.75. But way more st structure. And I'm okay with that because we don't really have anything to fill the structure with. So we'll do that. Put the spall liner on. So that'll save that. What are we up to here? So, <laughs> are we going to make our financial report? 20 days. Uh, let's put those in. But we leave this. I mean, we have to put the armor in. We have no choice. In order to do that, we got to put the endo steel in. So that's 710. What if we just put regular endo? It's 730. This is cheaper. All right, we'll go that route. Uh, we need two heat sinks. We got two. Oh, we only need one. Sorry. We'll put a heat sink in. And then, um, this is already giving us night vision, so we don't need to put night vision on it. We don't have anything there that can go in the <sighs> specialist slots. I don't think we have anything weapon-wise either that can go specialist. I mean, do we want to pull out... These are 12. How much is the heavy rifle? 8 and 5. Two recoil, less damage to armor. One recoil and normal damage. But that's 60. This says 60, but it's really 45. That's a three recoil, though. I mean, we could go with a mag shot and an AC 10. Mag shot's close range, though, right? 360, it's not too bad. And then if we use regular AC-10 ammo, 
Oh, we could get a, we could get the taser in there too. So if we add the taser, too many weapons mounted in the right arm. So it's technically not considered a um, support. Then, is it considered a ballistic? What's it considered? It is considered ballistic. I mean, do we go AC-10, Taser, and like, I don't know. This thing is so bad. <laughs> it's not even a trade-off. Um, let's pull out this obsolete tech for now. I mean, I, I guess I could leave it, but let's just want to try something here. Drop the AC-10 in. Yeah, we're, we don't even have room for ammo at the moment. I mean, we could leave out the Guardian, though. We can get sensors. We can get another ton back. Um, so if we left that off, put the mag shot in. Then I guess we could leave that out. No, we wouldn't have enough ammo then. We'd have to leave that in. Um... We go with regular AC-10 ammo, the mag shot ammo, and then we buy a ton of um, incendiary ammo. God, this thing is garbage. Uh, <laughs> man, 719,000 for, for garbage. All right, let me think about this for a second. Let's put this aside. We got to get something up and running now. So let's say we grab the wasp, which is not ideal. How much is it going to take to repair this? So it's got a medium laser, an SRM2. Let's just pull this off for now. Uh, we need to add a core. So let's go with... Um, I guess the 140 since we have no real choice. I don't have enough heat sinks for that though. How much is the 180? So if we do no jump jets, the 180 core, and I got two heat sinks in here I think. Pretty sure I do, yep. Yeah. So we drop one there and one here. We got three tons left over. We go to weapons. We got a small improved heavy laser, clan, which we could replace, how? 180 meters. We'd have to be real close. So if we do this, do that, I'm going to put the four, or we could go with the rocket, I mean, if we go with the four, let's say, for sake of argument, and then, um, or, do we want to go IATM-3? It's technically a streak, right? Um, we do have Inferno ammo as well, right? So we could drop Inferno and regular IATM ammo in there. Do we have support hard points? We do, but that doesn't matter because the taser is not support. So we could go um, bulky endo. Is the spa liner going to give it to us? No, it's a little over. I mean, we could go with an XL gyro. Or leave the spa liner off, put the defensive gyro in, and with the remainder, add a bit of armor. We need to add armor, though. So maybe we go XL then and add just a bunch of armor. Wow, like no head. Like this thing's got no armor. I can't go back to the 140 because I don't have the heat sinks. I'd have to bu buy them. But it's only 100,000. And it gets us back into the ball game. I mean, we could put the fire, pirate fire control system in here. <sighs> I 
I mean, it's fast enough. 914, it could keep up with the Cephalus. But we need max armor. That's like mandatory, I think. So, um, I'd love to have ECM too. I don't think this gives us any more, actually gives us less weight. Yeah, there's not much. I mean, maybe we just drop one of the tons of uh, ammo. We just stick with like Inferno or something. No, let's stick with damage because we're a backstabber. Let's stick with damage. And let's face it, a couple of heat is not going to add too much to anything. Stick with damage. Can we max out the armor? Not quite. So let's just tweak this a little bit. Torso's definitely, this arm definitely, this arm doesn't necessarily need it. Legs at 30, CT and back are, are done. Um, we can't quite get a full head armor. I mean, yeah, sure. We could run this and see how it goes. Let's get the night vision put in here. That'll help a little bit. Um, and we don't have anything else. So, I mean, we could run that and just see how that works. And just use it as a pairing with the, um, the Cephalus. These two run together, do some backstabbing. I think that would probably take care of it. This is one ton though, right? Yeah, Flamer. So, I mean, this is what? 30 damage plus the IATMs, which could be another 24. So, I mean, sure, for a 20-ton mech, not, as quite, not quite as good as a Cephalus, but, I mean, we don't have an XL in here or anything either, too, right? So, or Endosteel. We can get Endosteel and an XL in this thing. All right, let's just do that for 100 grand, 13 days. That's our replacement. I can't justify that hunchback. Logged and noted. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I mean, if we had a pair of Ultra 5s, it would probably be worth it. But we don't. So, I mean, just putting it together with the two rifles in it, just not going to do it, I don't think. So we're going to go this route. Let's get the uh, tasks managed. And we're going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll take probably one of the lower missions just to test this uh, mech out. All right. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.